up to the picturesque town of Mendocino, where we're standing in front of California landmark number 927, otherwise known as the Temple of Quan Dai. Lorraine, what exactly is the Temple of Quan Dai? The Temple of Quan Dai actually is a Taoist temple that was built by the first Chinese settlers who arrived in the town of Mendocino in the early 1850s. And the story is that our great-grandfather was sailing from China because he had heard about the California Gold Rush. He and six other ships, which are sampans, were going to travel to California and then land in Monterey and disembark into going into the gold mines. And unfortunately, because our great-grandfather was a farmer and not a sailor, his <laughs> ship got off course and actually landed up in Northern California off of the Casper Beach, whereas a second ship did survive the journey and they did land in Monterey. Our great-grandfather worked at the Casper Lumber Company for a short time and then made his way down to the town of Mendocino, which was booming because of the need for the lumber. And so what he did was, along with several other Chinese, migrated down here to work within the lumber company, but eventually ran his own business. And there are six original temples left in California today, and the Temple of Quan Dai is actually one of those six. How many different buildings or businesses or houses were here at about that time as well? The temple was built on Albion Street, but Chinatown itself was on the Mendocino Headlands, which is actually facing the bay and that that's where the, the major population what resided and what they could do is look up and see the temple and be reminded because of the specific God here housed inside this structure that they needed to stay together and be loyal to each other. When you think about Mendocino County in general is that this structure is the only evidence left now that says the Chinese were ever present in Mendocino County. Taoist temples are not just built anywhere constructed. They actually had a priest tell them where this building needed mm. to be constructed before they even began the process. And when you look up at this temple, one of the things that this temple has is unobstructed windows. And before all the construction in Mendocino, People from Chinatown could clearly see this temple and that in addition to that, we, when you stand on the porch, you could see all of Mendocino Bay and out to the mouth entrance of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the colors, can, can we go up in here? Yes, yes. The colors, it, was it this color back then? Yes, these are the original wow. colors. Red and green are the traditional good luck colors for the Chinese culture, and green is for prosperity, for life, and red is for good luck. What does this say right the, here? The board up here, actually in all temples, will announce to you that it's the Temple of Quan Dai, whereas the other temples will tell you which is the main god that they're worshiping. So when we go in, is there anything I need to do? Is there anything I need to remove? No, okay. I, I, people do ask us that. <laughs> I, in most temples that you are supposed to, to remove your shoes, but sure. we don't. Um, actually request of that. First of all, this isn't very big at all. No. And my first reaction is, you said four to 500 Chinese that lived in the area? Yes. What, in Taoist religion, the temples are open 24 hours a day, and people would come and go as they need. Uh. And each household has a small altar in their home that they do their worship, and they come to the temple when they need special prayers or special advice from the priest. And what they do is they enter the building itself. They would take a bunch of actual incense and light them, which are here, okay. and place them on the actual the oh, burners yeah. here. And okay. if you look at this ash here, is from, is goes back all the way 160 years. We have not removed any of the ash. Oh my and we goodness. were told in Taiwan that we weren't supposed to do that either. So this is called money paper. And they say a prayer and they burn stacks of this paper so it goes up into the heavens to make sure that their ancestors and the gods are going to come back and reward them. What, what are, are, are these things laid out yes, for a reason, I assume? They are laid out for a reason. There's an incense burner here, but basically when there is a ceremony like Chinese New Year's, what the family would do is bring their food in to have it blessed. 
and they would actually set it down on the table and then they would fill these porcelain containers up one with wine, one with rice, and one with tea to make sure is their offerings to the gods. And on the altar that you see actually here are again more offerings to the gods and our ancestors to make sure they're well taken care of in the heavens. Back here is oh more goodness. offerings to the gods. And so what you're seeing here are these old pieces are from the original temple and there's always a male and a female, the balance of feng shui to make sure and they're all paper and then there's newer pieces that we've added. When this religion really reaches the east and we're talking about like Saudi Arabia, etc., then peace will be achieved in the world. Mm. And then okay. the smaller one that is next to that banner over there is talking about having good weather. And then behind you, oh, uh -huh. actually, which is oh. kind of deteriorated, yeah. but it actually is telling you all the donations from the Chinese community of how much they actually donated to help construct this this um, temple. And then over here is the Chinese word for Mendocino. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. What you have over here is actually the temple's original you call it a gong, but it's really the bell, and below that is the drum. And when you are actually doing prayers and you're use, doing the chants, yeah. that you need to ring the bell or the gong so many beats, and then the drum as well, because it kind of wakens the gods and lets them know that wow. you're saying this a prayer. Is this original? Yes. Over 160 years yes. old? Wow. Yes. And then what about in the corner right this here? This is not original. This is called the Quan Gong. And that's Quan Dai when he was with his army. He invented this sword oh, to he's slay got it his. In the picture. Yes. Yeah. He invented this sword to slay his enemies. And I've been told. Can I hold it? Yes. And when it. you are learning Kung Fu, this is one of the weapons that they train with, but they also are taught a, a little bit about Quan Dai and what he represents. So we're open from May to October because that's usually the best months here okay. in, the, in the town and that we're open on Saturdays and Sundays. And Saturdays we're open from 12 to 3 and on Sunday from 11 to 2. Temple of Quan Dai here in Mendocino. Wow, this is cool. Look at the money paper here. You're welcome to take one. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead. You can get them in Chinatown.